we got ourselves an epic video. An epic, I mean, how often does, man, I got a haircut and it's still all over the place. What in the world is going on here? A bear and a wood team up to take down a moose and, you know, and calf. What in the world is this? And it's on trail camera. Let's watch this video real quick, just so you get an idea of what we're up against here. You can see the eyes. The bear goes after the cow, and the wolf goes after the calf. Straight up out of an Avengers movie. What is this? What in the world? That is nuts. The bear straight up goes after the mama. And the calf is run down by the wolf. That's crazy, bro. What in the world? Am I doing the whole crazy chat? It's crazy. Why, why does it skip video? I didn't want to do that. But yeah, it's crazy, Chad. It's crazy, crazy, I swear. That was a really bad XQC. But anyway, that is fucking nuts. In a rare moment of cooperation between predators, a bear and wolf have been spotted teaming up to attack a mother moose and her young calf. A video uh, captured by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game in Glacier Bay National Park and Preserve shows a brown bear lunging for the adult moose while the calf uh, chases after, or while the wolf chases after the mother, or the mother's calf. A prey and predator collide in this trail camera clip captured by a remote camera near Gustavus in Glacier, Glacier Bay National Park during ADFNG's wolf predation study. Uh, Southeast Alaska said in a Facebook post, sharing the video, uh, witness the intense moment where the prey and predator come face to face in this clip. This camera was perfectly positioned along a popular animal travel corridor, giving us a front row seat to Mother Nature's drama. Uh, both brown bear and wolves are commonly found throughout Alaska. There are roughly between 7,000 and 11,000 wolves in the state, according to the ADFNG, and they used to live in packs of 20 to 30 with a strong social hierarchy. The wolves Oh, they usually live in packs that big. Excuse me. Uh, the wolf's primary food source is moose, but they also hunt and eat other animals, including sheep, squirrels, snowshoe hares, and beavers. Unlike wolves, brown bears, which include grizzly bears, are usually solitary, living and hunting alone, except for when females are accompanied by their cubs. There are around 30,000 of these bears in the state, making up 98% of the U.S.'s population. And more than 70% of the North American population. Uh, these bears are omnivorous, eating vegetation and berries, as well as salmon and larger prey like moose. In the comments, some posted that the two predators were working together. Dang, bears and wolves working together? One commenter wrote, it does look coordinated, but impossible to know for sure. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, It's one of those situations where are they really actually knowingly working together? Probably not, but is it one of those situations where like the wolves know that the bear is going to go after this moose or have a feeling and they can smell it in the area and they can see the way the bear is reacting and they know that they have a chance to go, you know, to get the scraps. That's probably more likely, but like seriously cool. Rick Snyder, a conservationist and environmental consultant said that the two predators likely weren't working together directly, but knew that the other was present. The bear was certainly aware of the wolf, and the wolf was certainly aware of the bear, Steiner told Live Science. Moose uh, with calves are a primary target for predators, as they are more defenseless than adults. Adult moose can grow up to 1,200 pounds and stand as tall as 6 feet at the shoulder. Alaska is home to between 175,000 and 200,000 moose. Steiner said that the wolf may be uh, may have been waiting in the wings for the bear to attack, uh, taking advantage of the mother moose being distracted before attacking the calf. Then, yeah, exactly. That's, that makes sense. 
Uh, the adult moose can be seen putting up a good fight immediately. Uh, these animals have extremely powerful kicks and attempts to crush attacking predators with their hooves. The outcome of the fight is unknown, however, as the video ends without revealing the fates of the moose that are capped. Steiner is optimistic, however, saying that the moose would have fended off the bear before chasing away the wolf and defending her calf. I'd put my money on, uh, on the moose on that one, Steiner added. An adult moose is a formidable adversary for anything. Uh, I don't know about that one. Ooh, I mean, you can hope. You can hope, I guess. But... I don't know. Ooh, that's a tough one. I mean, the moose sees it. He's like, screw you. The bear jumps up and gets a chokehold on it. I don't... That bear... That bear got a good grip on that moose. Like, right away. Already grabbing it by the neck. Already grabbing it by the neck. The wolf, I mean... Who knows? It's one wolf versus that calf. Could probably take it down. I don't see why not. But that mama moose knew what was up. Like, she knew what was up right away. I think it's optimistic to say that the the moose definitely won. I think that's very optimistic. But, you know, you never know. Very cool video. Very, very cool video. Let me know what you think down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Join my membership for daily uploads of shorts that you don't get anywhere else. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Keep it wild.